What's up everyone, I'm Glitcher. I'm going to quickly cover today how to get into SSX3 Online. So there's a few prerequisites you'll need in order to get into SSX3 Online. First thing you'll need is DNS Patcher 21. You'll need the relevant patch file which will be located in the description. A game ISO for SSX3. Uh, you'll also require uh, NCAP. NP cap to be downloaded and installed on your computer which I won't cover for as it's just a simple install and I've already got it installed on my device so those are the three main these are those are the three the four main things you'll need you want to get to SSX3 online so the first step you want to do is you want to take your game ISO and just drag and drop it onto the patcher you'll get a prompt to accept and then your game will start to get patched so what this does is it just bypasses the original PS2 online check which the services don't exist anymore and uh, we just need to bypass that in order to connect to a different server. So once you've done that you can uh, take your, pat uh, your patch file over to your emulator and drop it into the cheats folder. I've already done that so I'm not going to drag that into the cheats folder now. So the next step for what you need to do is you need to configure your uh, emulator connect to online. So in so the way you do this is there's two main modes you can do it in. If you have if you have Wi-Fi, you need to do it in PCAP bridged. If you have Ethernet, you do it in PCAP switched. In my case, I've got Wi-Fi, so I'm just going to do PCAP bridged. So you want to first enable uh, you want to first enable intercept DHPC and then you'll get an option to enter a PS2 address. For entering the PS2 address, there's a what you need to do is you need to take your gateway address, the first three numbers of your gateway address and put that in there. And then for the last one you want to pick something uh, a pretty high number, so usually between 100 to 200 in order to ensure that you uh, don't interfere with anything else on your network. So in order to find out your gateway address, you can just open the command prompt, type ipconfig, and then you'll see that my gateway address is 192.168.0.1. And so what I've put in just for me is 192.168.0.23 because I know that's not used on my network. So once you've got all this set up, you can uh, start the game so I'll just quickly uh, watch the game. You want to go to game properties and ensure that the the SSX3 online server address cheat is enabled. All right. So once that's all enabled, you can just pass. I'm just going to skip through this. So you want to configure, the first thing you want to configure is this will most likely be MTP, you want to hit create, edit, create new and edit. So you'll go into here, I'm just going to fast forward this, uh, click add setting, memory card slot 1, yep, you'll just select the first option, not required, auto, auto, yep, uh, you can just leave it as the default name, it doesn't really matter. Saving. Nope, we don't want to test connection. And back out. Just fast forward again. Yeah. Oh, online. Let's go with this one. Connecting to the ISP might take a bit. It just depends on your network connection. All right. Uh, what you'll want to do is you want to create a new account. But in my case, I've already got an account, so I'm just going to hit uh, use my account. And then voila, you connect to online. 
There's also another step that you'll need to do, which I won't cover here because this step is per router and can be very different. So using your gateway address, you'll want to connect to your router. So this address here, you'll just paste it into, Ed, into Chrome, Edge, whatever your default browser is. And then you'll navigate there to port forward. There's a few ports you need to forward in order to access SS3 online. So the ones you'll need to port forward is mainly just three, oops, mainly just this one here. So you'll uh, port forward 3658 to 3659 on both WAN and LAN if you have the option to, and then to the destination IP, which will be the IP address you put in the PS2 address. And once you've done that, you can connect. You'll be able to connect to any players and uh, ride around with them. So yeah, that's pretty much it.